So let's talk about the idea of um, Archimedes principle. So you know, Archimedes principle sometimes I call it Archimedes principle, but it's Archimedes principle. So I have these few questions, which the two questions which is saying the first one is state Archimedes principle in words as well as in equation form. So myself, I I will say state Archimedes principle, but it's Archimedes principle in words as well as in, in equation form. So the basic idea behind Archimedes principle is that. Uh, so Archimedes principle states that an object immersed in a fluid experiences a buoyant force that is equal in magnitude to the force of gravity on a displaced fluid. What does it mean? If I happen to have maybe a cylinder, let me just redraw it here. Then I have got an object inside here. Initially, before, let me show it like this. Before putting this object, let's say the level of water is here. Okay. Now, after, after putting this object inside the cylinder, the level of water has increased up to that level. So one thing we have to know is that we are saying that Archimedes principle states that an object immersed in a fluid experiences a buoyant force. What do we mean? A buoyant force is the force that pushes an object to float, to go in that direction. That is what we call buoyant force. So when you put an object inside the water, so that object is going to experience what we call the buoyant force. Now, that buoyant force is always equal in magnitude to the force of gravity. The force of gravity is the force that the object is exiting on the water. So that is mg. So initially, if these are, these are equal in magnitude, so we can say that the buoyant force is equal to the mass times g. So we are saying, Archimedes principle state that an object an object immersed okay an object immersed an object immersed in a fluid experience buoyant force experience a buoyant force buoyant buoyant force that is equal so that is equal to the force of gravity so the question is state Archimedes principle in words if that is the answer here as well as in equation form. So in equation form is that. But now, since we don't know the mass, okay, the mass of this guy, so we'll say the density represented by rho is mass divided by volume. If I cross multiply, mass will be equal to this. So what I can do now, I can replace where there is it. I can replace where there is the M with with the, I'm going to say FB will be equal to where there is M will replace with the density times G times V like that. So in equation form, this is the formula. Then in word form, that is the formula. That that is the, the, the Archimedes principle. Okay? But I'll explain more especially on question two, which is asking about it us to find now that I've given you a hint if you put an object inside the cylinder 
the object is going to experience the buoyant force which is going upward the buoyant force is the force that is pushing an object let's say you are swimming in a swimming pool so you discover to say you are not going to sink because of buoyant force so buoyant force is pushing you to go on top so you the, an object tend to float because of the buoyant force so the buoyant force will always point upward so from the uh, the introduction which I've just given you on buoyant force which is Archimedes principle I think we can solve this question a solid wooden cube 3 cm on each side can be totally submerged in water if it is pushed with a downward force of 54.0 newton what is the density of the wood so I'll say here is where we're going to have our object a wood so a wooden cube is here a wooden cube is like that but I'll just put it just like this is okay okay there is a force which is pushing this downward which is so here there is water it is totally submerged so there is water here the force pushing this is 50 newtons 54 newtons we know that the buoyant force is pointing is going to be going in this direction that is what we are going to call the FB then there is also the force what we call the weight of the wooden cube which will be pushing it in this direction so I'll call this one mg which is the weight of that's why we said Archimedes principle state that the object immersed in a fluid experiences a buoyant force that is equal in magnitude force over gravity now we are saying that this force these forces are supposed to be equal meaning that the net force since it is immersed in the fluid the net force has to be zero so we only have the forces in y direction when we add them they're supposed to give us zero what force do we have i'll call this just f i have got the f okay the force pointing downward or I can start with the force pointing upward which is the buoyant force so I'll say the buoyant force then the ones pointing down is the F and mg so I'll put them negative is equal to that now I'll say the FB will be equal to if I shift these will be F plus mg meaning the, to find the buoyant force in this case it has to be the mass the force which is the force which is applying here and times the gravity the force of gravity but one thing we have to understand is that we don't have the mass so mass is going to be replaced by and remember we said the buoyant force now the buoyant force here we need to be very much careful the buoyant force we're talking about water the force that water is exiting on that object so we said it is the density so it's going to be the density of water times gravity and the volume of water should be equal to the force we know it but the mass we said the mass is going to be replaced with from this density is equal to mass divided by volume so mass will be equal to now we're talking about the this is an object we're talking about here this one so we will be talking about the density of the wood so I'll say the density of the wood times the G times the volume of the wood but what we should know is that okay so let me put just water here even here water this is wood even this one is wood like that our goal is the question is what is the density of the wood we know that the density of water is always 1000 kg per cubic meter now to find the the volume the volume of the cube and the, the volume of the wood and the volume of water is going to be the same so in this case I'm going to say I have got three edges so it's going to be 30 divided by 100 which is going to be 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 times 3 or 
to the power 3 to find the volume because the volume of the cube is else to the power 3 so I'll say 0 0.30 divided by 100 or oh, it's 0 0.3 not 0 0.03 so 0 0.3 to the power 3 is uh, so the volume is 0 0.027 cubic meter like that our goal is to find the vo the density of the wood so I have to shift the force to the other side okay so I'll say the density of water times G times the volume is equal to or minus the force is equal to the density of the wood times g times the volume so i can now divide both side by g times v even here g times v so i'll be able to f to find the density of the wood will be equal to the density of water is 1000 times g is 9.8 times v is 0 0.027 minus the force is this is minus so the divide should be should be covered everywhere there minus the force is 54 I divide this by 9.8 times v is 0 0.027 like that so what will be the density of the wood I'll say a thousand times 9.8 times 0 0.027 the answer I find is 264.6 minus 54 getting 210.6 I divide this by open brackets 9.8 times 0 0.027 this is 0 0.027 so the answer I'm getting is um, the density of the wood will be equal to 794.9 so the density is kg per cubic meter I can round it off and say the answer is 795 kg per cubic meter now the basic idea behind Archimedes principle is that eh, the buoyant force will always be there as long as an object is immersed in the fluid the buoyant force is always there then again at the same time the object is going to experience is going to have the weight it's going to be exiting the weight on the surface of water okay that is mg which I have put here but since initially the formula is fb is equal to the weight which is mg but because I have another force pointing downward I have to add that force to the weight which is going to be times the force plus the force because they are all going toward the negative x-axis now I start plugging in value so the buoyant force the buoyant force is given by the 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 density of water times the vo volume of water times g then this mg now m is the density of the the object which you have times the v of the object the volume of the object okay but initially the volume of the object is going to be the same unless if they specify to say you have got different volume they give you but in this case they didn't specify so the volume of water and the volume of the wood is the same okay so this is the basic idea behind Archimedes principle which you need to understand